Here's a problem that I have ran into every once in a while. The when the stair risers are a little shorter than they need to be and it usually ends up creating a gap between the top of the riser and the bottom of the tread. Now this can happen a few different ways. A lot of the time when I used to cut risers, plywood OSB risers, <coughs> I would uh, cut them a little smaller because uh, my lumber would shrink every once in a while. If I was doing a, a job that with, let's just say, 50 to 100 stairs in it, then my lumber would shrink, trust me, towards the end of the job. So I used to cut the risers a little smaller and just pull them up to the top of the stringer. I wouldn't just set them on the bottom. I'd pull them up and make sure that uh, they were actually going to be supporting the tread. Now here's how it works. Usually if you do something like this, the tread will be supported by the stair stringers. You step on top of the center of the stairway or the stair stringer, any area where the stair stringers are, you aren't going to have a problem. Your Stringer will be providing you with some structural support. However, that won't be the case when you step in the areas that are no longer going to be supported by the stringers. And you can actually see it kind of use a little common sense here. You can see that uh, depending upon the thickness of your plywood or the grade of it, you could end up with these areas here where the arrows are pointing to if we apply some pressure to it you could end up with some areas, these areas flexing. And I have seen this plenty of times. Is it gonna be a big deal? Um, I don't really think so. Could you end up with some squeaks? Possibly. Um, that would become a big deal, obviously. But the main point for the video is why? Why not keep the risers up tight with the top of the stair stringers and uh, eliminate this problem? Now I have actually, um, heard of people gluing the stair stringers. That's a common construction method. They put glue on the top of the stringers and then they set the treads on top of the stringers. Um, I've actually seen a guy do it one time. He actually glued the top of the riser. That might be another uh, tip for you guys out there working on stairs or I'm um, even doing it doing it yourself uh, project so anyway that's it make sure that uh, you follow this tip because I'll tell you what um, I've seen people too many times they slap this stuff together and you know they cut everything a little shorter and make it a little easier on themselves and they end up with, pro with problems that they never have to encounter, but the property owners do in the future.